OK, let's do WTF. What's that film? This is where you email us with as much information as you can recall about a film whose name you can't remember but has stayed with you over the years and in some cases over the decades. You know the kind of thing. Yeah. It was set in space or maybe Birmingham. There was a robot <laughs> called Clive, a sequence involving the theft of a papal ring and a memorable scene with Beryl Reed, or was it a Beryl Reed lookalike, throwing custard pies at an effigy of Rosen Reginald Bosing? <laughs> and a soundtrack by Bebop Deluxe. That's the kind of thing, but I might have been wrong about all of those facts. Uh, send as much of the, the detail as you can, mayo at bbc.co.uk, and the hive mind will try to help you out. This is not a weekly attempted humiliation of Mark, even though he's about to say it feels like Although it, it kind of feels like it. There you go. Uh, matters arising, Mark. You remember... Yes. Uh, so, Rob, his WTF was a bloke visiting his dead family. Yes. Getting older with every visit. Yes. And the hive mind shouted, uh, the discarnates. Well, it turns out it probably is the discarnates. Rob has checked out the trailer. It looks like the oh, one. Oh, just, just the trailer. He's ordered the DVD. Oh, OK, um, fine, fine. So another... another Actually, and then well, well done as well, because he's, he's seen the trailer, he's thought that's it, and then, then he's done the proper thing, which is to order the... Well done. That's a satisfied customer. Yes. Hooray. This week's challenge uh, comes from Kim in Norway. OK. Hello, Mark and Simon. Been watching you guys on your YouTube for a good while now, and the new WTF segment gave me an opportunity to find a film I've been Googling now for the past three years. Right. A film I saw about a decade ago. OK. This was a 90s, possibly, French or Italian coming-of-age film. Hang on. He saw it a decade ago. It's a 90s French or Italian. Yes. OK. That's a wide net already. Possibly coming of age, about a teenage boy and a girl set in the French Riviera around Monte Carlo sometime after World War II. The girl comes from a... Again? World... Yes. Again, not a narrow field. Sometime it's after World get, War II. It's going to get narrow. OK, fine. The girl comes from a wealthy background and the boy is a delinquent. Right. The two meet when the boy tries to steal a handgun, a Colt M1... 911 to be precise from a couple of american soldiers the girl hangs out with at the beach the boy gets beaten up by the soldiers but the girl ends up stealing the gun from them to give to the boy the two of them end up robbing a convenience store together and go into hiding on a boat in a swamp see he's narrowing down i can't recall the ending but they ended up somewhere close to monte carlo because there were scenes of the monte carlo grand prix intercut with the climax of the third act didn't end happily as far as i recall the film had a clever gimmick the film seemingly starts post-war 1940s then it's revealed that it's actually the 60s oh then it's the 70s eventually the late 80s and early 90s which is why it stuck with me after a decade hopefully either one of you knows this film no or one of your listeners viewers probably does know it maybe best regards kim in norway okay um kim i don't know that film the, uh interesting the very specific memory of the make of the gun yes and everything vague apart from that which was very very specific Forgive me for suggesting something which I'm sure you've already done, and I'm sure that listening to this right now, there will be somebody who knows the answer, mm. who will be who will email in, and so we'll have solved it by next week. But there can't be that many films that have actual footage of the... Is it Monte Carlo Grand Prix, you said? Yes. Would, would it not be possible to just Google films with Monte Carlo Grand Prix in? Monaco Grand Prix. Yeah. Monaco, beg your pardon. Mo Monaco. It's the same thing, though, isn't it? I've got it's no idea. It's the same thing. Yeah, I know. I just, I just always remember you used to make that joke about, has he fallen from grace? Uh, yes, that's a Prince Rainier of Monaco. <laughs> has he fallen from grace? It's a two Ronnies joke. <laughs> okay. Super, it's a very good joke. Super though. topical. I mean, it's dated. <laughs> yeah, okay. Um, but so... Yes, I don't know what it is. That may be one way, but I am sure that out there in listener land, there is somebody right now going, I know yes. exactly what that is, because the details that you gave, although I was sorry, I, I wronged you by saying that's very vague. That became very specific. Yes. Uh, mayo at bbc.co.uk. This comes from Rickolf, um, who's an SEN teacher. LTL and nth degree emergency mailer. I recall a short film that was aired as part of a brief series of themed films on Channel 4, 1993, 1994, round about then. I, I was presenting short films on, nine, well, on Channel 4, but no, it wasn't. It was later than that. Watched it in my bed sitting in Camden that leaked in the rain. Water would trickle down. Get this. This sounds like a movie. Water would trickle down the light fitting, get turned into boiling water in the bulb socket and then drop on your head <laughs> I mean, that's an amazing scene isn't it 
uh, and the carpet writhed with carpet beetles. Oh. Anyway, Rickolf says, it was a bleak post-disaster film, not set in my flat, uh, that may have been in black and white or just washed out colour. Can't recall if it was subtitled or not. It opens with a figure walking urban streets in a dark nuclear or biological or chemical suit. He's dragging a trolley behind him. He eventually makes his way to a building where there is someone in a clean room. He goes into the room via an airlock, taking off his suit in the process. The man and woman, man and women talk, and then the man goes back outside, puts his suit back on, and plays a beautiful piece of piano. Uh, please help. I've been racking my brain ever since. I wrote the title down at the time, but lost the piece of paper. WTF, what's that film? I don't know. OK. I don't know. I wasn't doing short films at that point, but that, I mean, that sounds, that does sound... The nuclear suit and then coming out of the hatch and uh, sitting down at the piano and playing music, that's going to narrow it down for somebody. Can I